Greetings, peacekeepers, and welcome back to another episode of Starfleet Command, Orion Pirates Plus Mod. I am Rear Admiral Tirak of the Carrier Purview, along with our escort battle cruiser, the Injunction, as we continue our war of pacification against the Gorn Confederation. And I'm going to say, I don't think I've ever seen quite so perfect a split in half of an empire before. I mean, we've tried to do these whole operations where we try and cut an enemy empire in half, but I don't think we've ever quite so literally succeeded as what we've managed here and here. Uh, we have pretty much cleared out the area around this planet here, and we're going to continue prosecuting the war against the station at 19.3. Hopefully we'll be able to take it. If we can't, uh, that'll suck. But uh, we're just going to top things off and get right back in there as fast as we can. Looks like we're good on all supplies, so let's rock and roll back to the front. Please let us stealth cap that. This It would be so excellent. No! No, no, no! Not another one of these! We don't want a base assault! Oh, uh, base assaults are not good. They're bad. They're very, very bad. It's a Romulan base, too. We're going to hit the prepare for battle, and we see heavy cruisers. We are supported by the GCS Death Beast and the GCS Fang, both of which are pretty good. Um, this appears to be some kind of CC+. Plus. It is a CAX. Okay, so it looks like the, uh, the X series of the C upgrade gives him R-type torpedoes. Uh, we've also got a War Destroyer, HBDB. Is that what be? Yeah, this would be a War Destroyer. It's a alphabet soup type. If you see a whole bunch of letters, it's it's a War Destroyer. Uh, we better get back on setting things up properly. Don't need easy... Oh, we're on the wrong ship. Duh. Let's hop over here and fix things. I don't need ECM. You are prepping a shuttle. Excellent. And the reinforcement on the shield is going to the front. Boost it to every bit of power you can get. Excellent. Okay, full power which admittedly is not that fast for us. And uh, let's go shuttle bay, fighters, everybody get out here. We're not gonna go that fast, so uh, you being out here is perfectly fine. So a heavy war destroyer and some kind of cruiser. According to this, it is a CSX. Uh, that would be a survey cruiser? I don't know. May as well fire one of these out just to find out for sure. And uh, I'm going to guess two Fs and maybe an R-type torpedo thrown in just for hilarity's me Ha! Two Fs and an R thrown in just for hilarity measures. Okay, so we are closing in at a range of 46, 37 on this guy, and friendlies are at that range. We're going to go over here because I don't want you firing this just yet. Stand by for my order. Heavy War Destroyer could be kitted out with... Did... Did I not say wait for my order? Oh, for Christ's sake. You know, they just do not seem to be paying attention to my command anymore. I'm not happy. Okay, no uh, D-type torpedoes are there, so let's rock and roll over here. And you, you're going to get the business with two of our fighter squadrons. Let's open up with this. So that we can get the most amount of damage that we possibly can, uh, which admittedly isn't all that much. The interceptors are going to be jumped by my guys. And whoa, weasel, weasel, weasel. Whew, just in time. Uh, we miscalculated that just a little bit and almost paid the ultimate price for that one. Uh, however, the caveats are doing their deadly, deadly work. Point blank range, able to launch out a astonishing amount of firepower from those uh, Phaser Gs. They've already taken care of one of the PFs. They're probably going to work on the other one pretty, in pretty short order. Let's see if we can't focus on the Reptilicon. All weapons! Ah, there we go. And now we're on the Chromaticon. And one of our side torpedoes uh, managed to dent him a bit. Oh, two R-type torpedoes were right on into him. So it looks like we've managed to take care of all these folk. So, all fighters, return to me, please. Mainly because uh, I don't want to get them gotten too much extra fire that they don't have to take. And also because I want them fully rearmed, repaired, and reloaded for the next run. Come on. You're the last one to come home, I think. Did we get all fighters? Yeah. Excellent. So all of our fighters are in relatively good shape. We'll get them all back. We'll uh, patch them up and rock and roll. We have our own friendly PFs. Let's increase speed on this time because otherwise we'll just be, you know, drifting way out in space for a while. Fire a mobile sensor. Start converting another shuttle. 
just because we're going to need it. And, oh, a single D, a single D and a single S, so we don't want to get too close with our fighters, quite frankly, um, because of that D-type torpedo. It won't kill them, but it'll be expensive to replace them. And that's kind of the main thing. Once you get a big carrier like this, you've got to replace those things. And it's, it is expensive, and it is not fun, and ugh. So we are prepping another... Another one of our wild weasels. <laughs> okay, admit it, that was pretty funny. So let's slow down to real people time instead of, you know, super fast time, as we probably can't keep up with that. Actually, no, let's speed back up again. So we are going to close to a range of 15 and then open fire. We have another sensor decoy all ready to go, which is excellent. So weapon system select. You, you're on loose formation. Do whatever the heck you want. Let's start putting more firepower down on this thing. And boom, we've got a hole. We're going to keep on getting close. We'll launch the caveats after we manage to take out the D-type torpedo. Not that we're going to expend a lot of extra effort to do that, because, well, the Gorn are going to take care of it. They're big, they're bad, they've got nastier ships than us. Okay, purview? Why can you not fire? What is wrong with you? You should be able to fire. How very strange. Why is Injunction not shooting? Hmm. First the fighters don't listen to me the last episode, now Injunction has decided to go pacifist. I don't quite understand it. This new and odd world. Get one of our side torpedoes in the game. Punching through, causing some damage. You know what, we're not going to bother with the fighters at all. There would be no point. It would be a waste of time and effort. Injunction dropping back to uh, avoid the S-type plasma torpedo. He probably could have eaten it. Uh, but, you know, better safe than sorry. Come on, any phasers you got left. There we go. Starbase destroyed. We wanted to take it, but we'll take a destruction because, well, it's, it's all we can do, quite frankly. Um... As much as we would love to take it, if it sends us on one of these base assaults, we gotta do it. Or gotta try, at least. We could, like, run away immediately, but that that's kinda cheesy. So we're no longer being pressured from that angle, and now we're gonna start solidifying things around us. What damage did Injunction take? I'm confused. Oh, it's a monster hunt! Excellent! As long as it's not a phaser monster... Why did I speak? Why did I speak? Like, like, I knew better. I knew better. I knew I shouldn't have mentioned, oh, don't be a, don't be a phaser monster. But no, I mentioned, hey, don't be a phaser monster. And guess what shows up? The phaser monster. And the plasma monster. We are supported by the Raging Bear, which is a Lyran ship. I have never seen this design before. Um, what are you? It looks like a Q-ship. FLDS. I have no idea what that is. Well, it certainly looks weird. Maybe it's like a, uh, a PF tender, I mean, I suppose, in those big bays underneath, although it's probably some kind of cargo ship. So we got that monster and that monster. This monster is SGS. This monster is AMS. I have no idea the distinction between them. All I know is Phaser Monster, and this one is the, um, the, um, the, um, Plasma Monster. He is going to be dangerously outfitted. Okay, so we're going to have to work with that. Forward reinforcement to the max. And again, firing at maximum range for no effect, because he's stupid. But then again, what can you expect from the AI? They're not exactly the smartest people in the bunch. He got in nice and close to do this. The one really good thing about this is the fact that they can't fire their... Um, they don't have wild weasels, so they can't avoid what we're, you know, spitting at them. We managed to pretty, pretty badly damage his shields. We've taken out one, and those will take out another. He's fired his massive plasma barrage at the Raging Bear. We can increase speed a bit. Yeah, he was a freighter. He was a freighter. 
Unfortunately, we are kind of out of weapons range. Although, we do have three turns now to turn on this AMS, so I'm not all that concerned at this moment. Injunction, break formation, engage at will. I don't know what you're doing anymore, but I just want you to kill something. Okay, so Injunction decided it was going to get down and dirty with a point-blank PPD. And we're going to get in there with all of our weapons. Uh, we've pretty much crippled this thing. There's not much left to it. So that one's dead. Now this one. Uh, is our starboard plasma torpedo? Oh, nope. None of our eye type torpedoes are ready. Oh, there it goes. Must be a graphical glitch. Which I suppose would happen more often on the eye type torpedoes, considering they oftentimes have, um... Whatchamacallits. I am just missing all the words today. But yeah, oftentimes the uh, eye type torpedoes are charged at different rates, and that tends to spawn the graphical glitch more often than other things. We've got to close just a little bit because I want to get these Phaser 3s involved. They do 30 damage if I can hit with all of them, which is pretty nice. Um, that's solid, especially when he's as low health as he is. Okay. The main reason I was so worried was because this Plasma R I was seeing was getting sort of loaded and I wanted to be dead. There we go. I stole your thunder. Haha. Uh -huh. Oh, come on. I'm a carrier. Anytime I can steal a Battlecruiser's thunder like that, I, I should... I deserve to be able to dance a little bit. So, 284 prestige. It's not a ton. We are taking the territory, threatening things around us. Uh, but this is really a thorn in our side. I mean, if we look at this, this is kind of pinching at where we uh, at where we have pushed in. And so I don't like that. I view it as a uh, weak spot. A weak spot we would like to fill in. He took 70 damage. I'm not sure where he took that 70 damage. Our fighters are good. Our shuttles are replaceable. Two shuttles to replace, please. Miscellaneous. Uh, I don't care the fact that you're out of mines. And we'll pop you up to 10 spare parts. I kind of don't care that he's out of mines, because one, the AI does not make fantastic use of mines, because lately they've been dropping mines in my face. I'm not super thrilled when the AI decides to drop mines in my face. So let's focus on this planet here. And, uh, Convoy Raid! Excellent! This is, oh, crap. Maybe not. I was about to say this is exactly what we do, but then again, every time I launched fighters, at least in the last mission, they didn't pay any attention to what I wanted them to do, which, as you can imagine, is not cool. So our fighters have been launched. We're prepping a Wild Weasel. We are not prepping the ECM. We're looking at a Heavy Cruiser and a Light Cruiser. So we've got an HDX and an MCCX. So this will have our type torpedoes. Fighters, can I order you around? Or are you just going to be super, super annoying? Because I would really appreciate it if you guys engaged these ones first. And then went for the convoy. Also, I'm going to lose a lot of fighters in this. There's no other way to put it. They're going to launch the torpedoes at those fighters. And the fighters are going to die. I think. Maybe the caveats will get in close and annihilate him right off the bat. Okay, um... Maybe my ship will transform into a battleship carrier. No, it's not quite working that well. But yeah, that was impressive. Okay. Caveats just completely overflew that ship and annihilated. Didn't even think about it. Let's get involved with this. Hey, hey. Don't run away from us. You have to concentrate on us. Oh, I have a whole other one. Two, three, four. Wow. Only one of those shots hit. All weapons, please. In through the hole. We're going to start putting, putting shots into his rear where it's most likely to wipe out a plasma coil or a warp coil or something. Uh, but yeah, fighters. Kicking butt, taking names. Doing the good work. As uh, they try and run away as fast as they can. One freighter down. They won't stop until they're all dead. Why are you... Like, did Injunction take stupid pills recently? Because I've been watching him do some really, really dumb stuff lately. Uh, point blank range. Phaser fire ends the war. Okay, perfect. Increase speed to maximum. This is technically a Q-ship, however... Well, you know, Q-ship's not really dangerous. So we'll get involved in this squadron now. The fighters sort of lunging at the last of the enemy freighters. And we're at range. Wonderful! 
And convoy rating. It kind of sucks that we didn't have the fighters to be able to use to our advantage, and that they just went off and did their own thing, but hey, I'll take what I can get at this point, considering that it's a little bit dangerous not to. 378, excellent work. Everybody involved, we have a lot to work on this planet to knock it down. And we'll go on a patrol, why not? You know, patrols, useful, fun. Get a little bit of work done. And hop in and on this mission, red alert. Pop over here. Hello, welcome to the purview. We are escorted by the True Sight and a DDD XP, which is a some kind of destroyer. Don't really care. Enemy light cruiser, which is probably an alphabet soup, and this guy, which is a heavy cruiser, and according to this, is an HSRX. No idea. Just having to having to Scooby, as they say. So let's rock up the maximum shield reinforcement, because why not? Uh, target the forward target, and probes away! We're starting to get into a habit on this thing, although eventually we're going to have to sell the injection so that we can like have the carrier in the number one slot, so we don't keep bouncing back and forth here. It can get... Oh, boy. Okay, um... Hang on. This is a lot more firepower than we bargained for. I'm officially worried. Okay. So, while being officially worried, we now need to come up with a solution. Light cruiser, heavy cruiser, heavy cruiser, light cruiser. Light cruiser, light cruiser. Because technically destroyers in this, once they hit the X-Series, become pretty much light cruisers. Okay, so I didn't pay attention to what the heavy cruiser had, which was a mistake. This is going to be ugly. This is going to get really ugly really fast. We're going to need to get our fighters in there now. So the fighters are going to lunge at him straight forward. The caveats are going to try and rip him open with their close range fire. If they can, he's not a danger at all. This is a joke of a heavy cruiser. Well, I guess some jokes, huh? So we'll wait till we get to range 15, if we can get to range 15. Perfect! Blowing some big holes up and into him. Check this guy out. Yeah, he's more dangerous, but he's currently not engaged with our forces, which is good, because the sooner that these caveats get involved in a real fighting war... Ow! Come home. Oh, you're not mine. I don't care. You are mine, however. I just lost a fighter squadron. Crap, that's going to be expensive. Shoot him! Alright, fighter squadrons, come home. Maybe not fire your super powerful stuff. Two R-type torpedoes, two F-type torpedoes. So I want to get fighters back to get them repaired and rearmed. Well, just repaired, because we don't need to rearm our fighters. And we're going to focus on you. The PFs are our number one goal for attack. Uh, because, well, they're small, they're easy to kill. And I think I can take him. Just maybe. And this is going to suck. So, all weapons select. You. Uh, all weapons select on you. And all weapons select on you. Okay, so we've managed to blast our way through. But we're in trouble, because now we're the center of attention, and it never pays to be the center of attention in a Gorn Plasma fight. Decepticon has just opened his shields to me. Unfortunately, I wasn't quite able to make that work. So, shields, let's go to the 360 reinforcement. And uh, so we've got Snarl, Serpenticon, and this thing. Weasel out. I can't afford to take a shot like that. Three cruisers. Jeez, did you guys not manage to accomplish anything? Fighters. Oh crap, we gotta kill this one before we launch fighters. That's a shuttle! Oh boy, that's, that's terrifying, okay? Not gonna lie. Very terrifying. 
too close range in order to deal with his, uh... Oh my god! They're just dumping all the mines on us! We need to launch our fighters now, but I'm on top of a mine. Well, I guess there's that. Fighters, go. Get them out. They gotta get out of the launch base now or never. I know, it sucks because we're right here. Okay, so where is the injunction? Injunction, get in here. I kind of need your help. I mean, that's, that's why you're here, to escort me. Okay, we're out of weasels. We have not prepared enough. Serpenticon is going to go down. Snarl is a major thorn on my side right now, though. So I need power, and I need repairs going on right now. Let's patch the phasers, because they'll take less time, and then the PPD, which will take three years. Perfect. So our perfect timing enabled perfect killing this. Fighter squadrons, attack, attack, attack. Okay, let's turn so we get a shield between me and him, and then we finally blow him up, because that's going to happen pretty soon. Maybe I shouldn't have recalled the fighters at that part of the fight. That may have been the mistake that we made. Okay, all ships return to me. Unfortunately, th we're going to pay through the nose on that one. Ugh. A lot of fighters are going to need a replacement. A lot of the ship is going to need a replacement. We waded into the middle of a firefight. There's no two ways about it. We really shouldn't do things like that. Uh, so, 190, 52... Actually, this would give us 4,000. Chipyard, what's at 4,000? A cat. Cat is an independent patrol cruiser, so a super heavy plasma boat. CCXP is slightly outside of that. That would have R-type torpedoes and eyes. That'd be really nice. Um, a CAX... R-type torpedoes and a... Mm. We really want a CCX. Because that would be just great. 40, 32, 32, and the... How much was that CADX? Or the CCXP? So, the difference between the uh, CCXP and the CCX is the CCX has way better shielding. Uh, no two ways about that. Its, it's shields are through the roof. So, let's... Now prepare to wince as we stare at how much fighters. You can't see it, but I'm wincing very badly. Ugh! 432. The price on that was not worth it. Just, it was not. So we're done with that. And now he needs a bunch of marines. We'll give you back your mines. They really did drop a ton of mines right on top of us in that towards the end of that fight there. Uh, but I think we're actually coming in towards the end of an episode here. We've just pulled back. We've restocked, reloaded. We are going to have to push back a bit. We want to keep this wedge here. We don't want the Gorn to be able to link back up with each other. And in order to do that, we're going to have to knock out this and maybe work on this nebula right here. Um, I think crunching down the southern area would be more effective. So that's probably what we'll focus on, hitting the south and then turning north. Because once we've wiped out the south, we'll have isolated them from the Federation. We will start running into more Merak, but that's something I feel that we can probably take. Anyway, I've been Tirak. If you like what you've been seeing, hit that like button and subscribe. If you want to receive a notification every time I put up one of these videos, click the little bell icon next to the subscribe button, leave a comment, and I will see you all in the next episode.